Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my investing videos. And in this video, I am going to show you some money management. I rolled out some of my put options today. So let me go to my transactions and show you what I did today. So let's put in August the 12th. Today's the 13th. And this is for today. So today, you can see that I bought to close those three right there. So there's one plus three plus two that's six so I bought to close six put options that I sold to open back on the 31st of last month July at the $29 strike price and if you remember if you watch my other video I got $92 for those so I spent like $540 or I'm sorry I got a credit of $540 for those and today I cited I decided to uh, roll them out and so what I did is I bought to close and I paid $37 a contract right so 92 minus 37 is how much I made so 92 minus 42 would be 50 so $55 a contract is the profit that I made 55 times 6 would be 50 let's see 50 times 6 would be 300 and then another five would be 330 so I just made three hundred and thirty dollars between now and July the 31st so that's not too bad right and then I decided to sell to open six more put options and notice that I picked a higher strike price but I also picked a sooner expiration date so these other six expire September the 21st I closed those out okay so that was in about a month and a week right 40 days 39 days or something these ones they expire in 11 days about a week and a half now notice that I close these out for 37 and I'm opening these for 49 so I'm making more money in a less period of time but I'm also taking on a bigger risk because now Twitter has to stay above $32 between now and 11 days from now. If it goes below, like let's say Twitter goes down to 31, then I would take some loss. And how much money would I lose if Twitter went to $31 and I waited to the bitter end? The answer is 32 minus 31 is a dollar. Okay, but this is a credit 49 so a dollar minus 49 would be 51 so I would lose 51 times 6 I would be down temporarily of course because of course I'm not just gonna sit here like a bump in a log I'm gonna roll them out and I'm going to sell other options at a longer uh, expiration date so I wouldn't just sit here this is a long-term investing plan but at least for the time being the risk is a little bit higher it's actually a lot higher if you think about it I mean if Twitter you know for some reason went bankrupt or went down to ten dollars a share I could lose truckloads of money right but we take reasonable risk in a reasonable period of time when we do stuff like this and we roll it out now my original position was is right here I own 200 shares of Twitter I own 10 put options and I still have four others that I sold to open at 31 and these ones right here okay these ones right here are the ones that I bought back and rolled out so these ones on the right those are the ones that used to be the $29 and expired in September well now they're $32 and they expire in what 11 days 24th so I'm basically making a bet that Twitter is not going to go below $32 or at least not very far below and if it does obviously I'm not going to sit here and just watch my money go out the window bye bye I'm going to do something and so one example that I could do if it did that and this is the basic idea of how to roll out options in this case be put options is let's say that I wanted to roll them out right now okay and let's say that I'm scared that Twitter is going to drop below $32 I'm looking at my account and these contracts are $55 a, a, a an option or a contract and I'm scared that Twitter's gonna go below so what could I do is I could go into Twitter and I could click on the option chain right and these are my $32 puts right there right $55 $57 so 56 so what I could do is I could buy to close these puppies right click on that 
and click buy to close like that and go in my order ticket and put buy to close put in the six contracts and then review order and confirmation right but I already did that so let's say that I'm scared that it's going to keep going down and I want to roll it out right now right and I want to take lesser risk in a longer period of time so what would I do is I go into these I close them out just like I showed you those fifty five dollars or whatever and look at that the market is open as, as I am making this video by the way and so now notice how the 32 jumped up here because now Twitter's uh, up to 33 which is good for me okay so what would I do I would close those out and then I'd look go out like a longer time frame like maybe a month now look how much more you get for a month out you get hundred and twenty five dollars so if I wanted to I could sell the same strike price and get another seventy five dollars for another month out but I could also go down a dollar and sell the thirty ones and so what would I do I would buy these ones back for fifty five dollars and some change whatever and then I would sell the thirty ones a month out so I go down another dollar and every dollar is a hundred share or every hundred shares is a hundred dollars per dollar and I get more money and I get a lower strike price so I get another dollar of cushion and I get more premium so that is the idea on how to roll out stock options if the stock goes up or down past your strike price whether you're doing this on calls or puts so that's basically what I did today when I decided to do some rolling out Twitter was up and Twitter is up because of the news uh, they got an upgrade by this this one right here I'll click on this and I don't know who Citron is but they say Twitter could hit $52 within 52 weeks that's two freaking years from now but whatever you know a lot of investors are going hip hip hooray and so Twitter is up quite a bit today and uh, let me let me click on the day chart okay this is just for today one day and uh, let, let me uh, let me go to the one minute chart so you can see what it's been doing so let, let me draw a little trend line so this is where Twitter started all the way down there right which is at about thirty two dollars a share right? I don't know I don't know if you can see that on the right but it's thirty two dollars a share and so today it's going up uh, hold on let me exit that and redraw it so now Twitter is going up up and away and it's gone up from thirty two dollars to thirty three dollars so that's a pretty decent move and that's just today and the market is still open uh, it's 1030 so that that would make it 130 Eastern time I'm on the West Coast so it's 130 market closes in another what two and a half hours closes at four nine to four uh, I, I think West Coast, so I think 6.30 to 1, right? But that's 9.30 to 4, okay? So the market is still open. So who knows where Twitter is going to end up by the end of the day. I'm not a day trader. I'm mostly uh, a weekly trader or maybe a monthly trader. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't call myself a swing trader because I don't buy and sell stocks based on patterns and stuff like that. I'm, I'm an option guy, and I like to set up my money. I like setups that make money based on premium uh, more more premium less premium more premium on the shorts and less premium on the longs and that's basically what I do with these stock options because I've found from for me and look at this uh, Twitter keeps going up so Twitter that that's basically what I did today is I did some rolling out so back to these transaction and it's all right here so this is just an idea on how to do this now I'm doing a lot of talking and a lot of rambling if you're not able to follow me if you can't keep up not a big deal options are actually very simple to understand it doesn't really take a lot I mean you spend how many years going to college and spending how much thousands of dollars to get your $15 an hour job or $20 an hour job or if you get a lottery or something hot, some hot shot job maybe you can make a hundred grand or 200 grand a year and you're spending half your life how many thousands of hours of your life going to college and and money right you go into school debt to get these little teensy tiny jobs when how many college dropouts you know Bill Gates and Steve Jobs 
are billionaires and the way people get rich is doing stuff like this so I save a little bit of money and I put it in a Roth IRA and my hope is that in 10 or 15 years I can have maybe two or three hundred thousand dollars and just to give you an idea of what that kind of money means if you have a hundred thousand dollars making six percent interest which you can very easily do and uh, since I enjoy doing this video I'm going to show you something here okay this is one of my tools that I use this is finviz.com I'm gonna go on the stock screener and I'm going to pull up dividend stocks so we'll pull up six greater than five percent and let's go ahead and put in a big market cap uh, how about how about large and let's see what we come up with okay now these are all the the, the large ten billion dollars and greater stocks that pay greater than a six percent dividend okay and let me go uh, I have to go to financials so that it will show it there we go so look at all these stocks and these are all large cap stocks ten billion dollars or greater look at all of these freaking stocks that pay a nice high dividend here's one that pays 11 percent but this stock right here is my favorite this is Blackstone they got great fundamentals uh, if you look look at look at their fundamentals you're seeing green 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 they have very low debt right a 1.49 is very low uh, something that I really like is their return on equity is 26 percent I mean that's insanity return on investment that's 15 percent I mean these these are great their their earnings are positive and this company pays a six percent dividend so if I had a hundred thousand dollars what I would do is I would buy a bunch of this stock and then I would sell deep in the money covered calls why would I sell deep in the money covered calls because if the stock goes down that money protects me so like right now Blackstone is at let's let's go back to uh, uh, where is it at oh here it is it's at thirty four dollars and ninety nine cents so if I sold like a really low as a matter of fact let's go on Ameritrade just so that you can see the fun of this Let, let's go to Ameritrade here and uh, put all this lovely stuff back in Here we go right there back on my Ameritrade and oh by the way this is my margin account and this is my Roth I, I do most of my stuff in my Roth because I like not paying taxes uh, but I do have that little bit in a margin account just in case so let me go back to Blackstone here and let's click on the options okay these are the stock options they're pretty liquid they're very liquid options and so I would be looking at options maybe start here and I would go to in the monies like this and then I would be looking at the lowest option I can get now it only goes down to 28 that's not low enough for me if I'm gonna do a dividend strategy I wanna go low now here we're talking now we're down to like fifteen dollars a share twenty dollars a share I like this one right here this is a twenty dollar a share okay if I sold to open these puppies if I got a couple hundred shares of these if I had a couple hundred thousand dollars and I bought however many hundred shares I could afford. Uh, Blackstone right now, their bid is 35. The ask is 35.08. So let's say I get it for 35 bucks a share, give or take a few dollars or a few pennies. And then I sell to open these calls, expire in 158 days. That's about what this is August. That's like what five months from now. I would get $15 is the bid, 15.35. So let's just say, just for argument, let's say 15. 1515 15, right in the middle okay so 20 plus 15 dollars and 15 is 35 35 I'm sorry 35 15 so you don't make any money whatsoever on the time decay you, you the little bit of money you'd spend on the commission right so the option is a wash you'd break even if the stock went up you wouldn't make one single penny of a dime but if the stock goes down as long as Blackstone stays above twenty dollars a share okay you don't lose any money at all and you would make money because of this right here this dividend two dollars and seventy six cents a share so if you bought a hundred shares of this you put up thirty five hundred dollars 
in a year from now you'd make two hundred and seventy six dollars just on the dividend okay and it's actually showing a seven point eight one percent yield which is even better you know so as long as Blackstone stays above that you make that money and it's a super low risk I mean if you look at the chart we go to like let's say the yearly chart do you see anything anywhere close to near twenty dollars a share no nope. let's look at three years do you see anything close to twenty dollars well let's see down here you got looks like maybe in the mid 20 range like 22 23 so in the last three years it hasn't even got that close to twenty dollars a share so that's a pretty darn safe strategy if you were a high roller you have a lot of money you can buy a bunch of this stock sell some in the money calls and you could live off the dividends for at least from now till January you know so that's a pretty cool deal so my personal goal has always been for the longest time to try to get as much money as I can in my Roth IRA tax-free and then every if I had a hundred thousand dollars every hundred thousand dollars I have at a six percent interest is five hundred dollars a month that's how much money I make if I have a hundred thousand dollars and I make six percent right because uh, six percent of a hundred thousand dollars is six thousand dollars right well 500 times 10 10 months would be five thousand dollars add on the other two months 500 times two is a thousand you get six thousand dollars that is five hundred dollars a month if you have a hundred thousand dollars and you do a really conservative safe strategy buy a stock like blackstone sell deep in the money cover call and you could live off that for as long as it stays above twenty dollars a share so that's been my goal and also that's that's like a little bit of bonus information that I thought I would share in this video but this video is about what I did today rolling out my options right here so uh, oops that's square that's my margin let me go back to my Roth uh, I'm gonna do a video on on square I did some strangles on square and I did three of them and I made money all three times I'm gonna do a video on what is a strangle and how you make money uh, it's basically an earnings play so anyways thank you for watching this video here is all the nonsense that I did and uh, feel free if you have any questions uh, ask me a question in the comment or if you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see me do you want me to explain something about my money or about options whatever uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one